You know, it's it's interesting because the lyric that really stuck out to me is hell couldn't hold me down. <laughs> and one, and it was, you know, it was just a cool lyric. But the the concept of, of, of depression as feeling like hell, the part that I think is is maybe more obvious to people is just, you know, hell's a bad place, depression's a bad place. But the but the sense that you have done something wrong that mandates that you be here. That mm. sense that is something that I think a lot of people when they struggle with depression have, which is that I must have done something to deserve this. Mm -hmm. And I'm just kind of curious if, if, if that lyric came from that place or if it just, it was coming from a different place. No, no, you kind of hit the nail on the head because I know I, I have a tendency to spiral out um, when, when I get down, uh, whereas there is a lot of things that in, in retrospect, there's things that you think of like either I'm not good enough. Um, I, I'm sorry if you can hear that. Um, <laughs> either, either I, I'm not good enough or, or, uh, you know, I've, I, all of a sudden you're reminded of all the things that you have done wrong, you know, in, in whatever the past year you get, you'd start almost, it's like, it's like feeling like you've gone too far over the line to the point that, well, I might as well just sit here in this hole because this is exactly where I deserve to be. And, um, and really the, the, the hell that I'm talking about is, is, is the hell that I, you did. You, I like, I built that for myself. I had, um, there was a lot of confusion. There was a lot of, uh, guilt for even feeling that way. Like I, you know, for me, um, what I had to kind of come to terms with is what are other people going to think about me talking about, being depressed or having anxiety or, or, or getting, getting well acquainted with some panic attacks that I haven't had since I was high school. There's guilt of, from that too, because I, you know, look, I am a fairly pleasant person 90% of the time. Um, I have a great job. I'm, I'm doing what I love as a living. Um, I know a lot of people have a lot more, you know, whatever. That's what I'm thinking about. Oh, people are, have, much more difficult situations than this. So why am I feeling that way? And, and so that spirals into, you know, this self doubt as well. And, um, I definitely have a lot of imposter syndrome, like, well, maybe it's because, um, I really don't actually deserve to be here, that kind of thing. And, and with this life and with, you know, living my dream, whatever. I have wonderful people around me. So why do I feel that way? So that it kind of lobs back and forth and you build those walls kind of around yourself so that it's kind of hard to see where it's going to go, like what's on the other side. And so, yeah, with, with, with this song, I was definitely trying to, you know, for lack of a better term, dig myself out <laughs> of, of the grave I was putting myself in. You know, and it's, it's so hard for people to understand that saying, well, I have such a great life. Why am I depressed? Is the exact same thing as saying, well, I have such a great life. Why do I have diabetes? I yeah. have such a great life. Why do I have asthma? And it's, it's so hard because even when you're in it and you know that this isn't necessarily a judgment in your own head on your life, you know, depression is just like, or anxiety or just like any other physical health issue, for some reason, we wind up saying, well, this is, this is not only do we feel badly, but we condemn ourselves for mm -hmm. feeling badly. And then the thing that gets even worse is that the better that our life is, the greater the condemnation, because it means we are even less justified to feel this way. And it's like, oh my God, I just went from feeling depressed to feeling like three times as depressed. Exactly. Exactly. And, and, you know, when you start to reach out, I, I've been very, um, open, especially within the last couple of years, uh, to, uh, our fan base about it. And for the, and the majority, 95% of everybody is, is grateful that, you know, it's, they're, they're looking up to me in a certain sense, but they're grateful that I can also have those feelings. And then you have the 5% that's like, why are you complaining online? Like, yeah, I have a, the same thing. And then, so like, then you see that you're like, ah, oh, is he right? You know, but it's, it's, it's interesting. You know, um, I, I feel like, you know, and, and just because 
I'm doing something that I love for a living and I have, you know, fans and the whole thing, that doesn't mean that it's not hard. And that doesn't mean that there isn't, you know, added pressure um, in this life anyway. I mean, I, I've talked about that with a bunch of my um, my musician peers too, where it's like, you can almost feel like you're you know, you're, you're on this forward train. We, we've had a lot of success. We're still on this, you know, upward swing. Sometimes you can feel like you're in the backseat of your life, you know, and it's like, I, am I just along for this ride? Am I actually in control of any of this? You know, it's going by. And so you have to stop and kind of check yourself, you know, with, with those mile markers as well. Mm -hmm. 